So I'm back with our tensile fibre that we um, put on to soak yesterday. As you can see, it's still got the green tag on it, flagging tape with TEN written on it for tensile. And um, it's been soaking overnight in the soda ash urea and fixative A solution, surfactant solution, and today we'll dye it. Now, um, the soda ash solution, soda ash is an irritant to your skin. It's not going to eat your skin away, but it may irritate it, especially if you're handling it a bit. So make sure you're wearing gloves whenever you handle any fibre or anything that you've had in that solution to, rinse, to squeeze, it, squeeze out the water. I haven't, I've just squeezed the water out of these and um, laying it out. And because I've just dyed something else with these cotton dyes, I'm going to use what was left of them. The cotton dyes are only made up about 10 minutes ago. Once they're made up into solution, they start to lose their reactivity. And if you don't, and gradually over the next couple of hours, they get, you will get paler and paler shades of that particular colour. So it's I find that you get the best colours if you use it straight after you've made it up into solution. I just put the dye powder in, I, I use these clear throwaway containers. I use those ones, those ones there must be about five years old now, so they last a while. I just make them up in that. I use about oh, three quarters of a teaspoon in cold water to mix it, like you would mix gravy or any flour in, in it before you thicken something and then I fill it up with warm water. The warm water helps the dyes to set quicker. You don't need to heat these at all. You can heat them and they will set much quicker but you don't need it. They will set just fine cold and a lot of, a lot of them, a lot of um, tutorials will tell you to leave them overnight to dye for the dye to abs absorb more but um, once they're actually mixed up into the water, they start reacting. And of course, once you put them onto the fiber with the soda, ash and urea, they will react even more so. So after two hours, as far as I'm concerned, the colors are so pale that um, make, throw it out and make a fresh one. So we don't want to make up too much at any one time and you want to use it reasonably quickly. Make sure we get a bit of dye in there. So this is net, uh, tensile fibre, which is made from wood pulp. It's a nice soft silky fibre, cellulose fibre. So this is brilliant red. I've used orange and yellow already. I'm not really too worried about it running in between. I don't mind the colours mixing a little bit. I think it gives a little bit of individuality to the dyed fibres this is turquoise so this one was purple and then we might go back to the yellow and finish off with the orange so that's all gone if I'm dyeing with these cotton dyes or cellulose dyes one day I um, try to only make up what I use. Anything that's left over goes in the um, thrown out because it's not going to be any good the next day. Unlike the earth palette wool dyes, which you can make up into solution and use them for years and years. So, as I said, there's no need to heat set these. I'm just going to wrap them up. I'm going to just mop up a little bit of the excess dye wrap them up and leave them sitting and I generally dye one afternoon and rinse out in the mornings. So I'll be back in the morning to show you how this looks. There's going to be quite a bit of fibre blending because these are quite damp. As you can see it's not quite through the bottom but it will be shortly. Okay I'll be back with it to show you how it looks once I've spun it out, I'll show you how much dye solution, inactive dye solution comes out when you rinse the cotton dyes.
So it's the next morning and I've come back with our tinsel that we dyed yesterday. It's been sitting overnight, not that it needs to with these cotton dyes, but just to um, because I dye one afternoon and rinse the next morning. As you can see, there's quite a lot of dye left in the solution, but I will spin it out and um, rinse it, put it in a bucket of water to rinse it and show you how much comes out of the rinse water. Okay, so this is our tensile fibre. Let me see, we'll grab it all together here. This is the way we laid it out to dye it. Where's our... Oh, here's our tag, our flagging tape with the identification written on it. So I've just spun out the excess solution. Now I'm going to rinse it in a bucket of water that's got a little bit of, yeah, look at that, it doesn't even work. Sorry, where was I? I'll rinse it. A bucket of cold water. Got about a teaspoon of fibre scare, the Tantec fibre scare, which is made in Australia in it. And I'll leave it in there for about 10 minutes or so. And then I will give it a hot wash, rinse it, spin it out and bring it back and show it to you how it's, when it's dry. So we're back with the tinsel that we dyed. Yep. This is what it looks like all braided up. As you can see, it's a fairly, fairly silky looking, lustrous fibre. Um, it's looking a little bit wispy here because I made a bit of a mistake. I hung it on, I, it was such a beautiful day this morning, I thought, oh, perhaps I'll move my rack outside for a little while in the sun. It was nice and calm and sunny and then probably forgot about it. So a couple of hours later, I happened to look outside and thought it was swinging in the breeze and I thought, ah. So it's fluffed up a little bit but definitely dry, but um, that won't be a problem. It'll still braid up all right and be fine. It just um, just looks a little bit windblown. So as you can see, here's our tag that still has whoop, tensil on it. To I don't know if you can see this, can you? To show that it's tensile. And then the colours are nice and bright. It's a beautiful fiber actually it's if you if you don't use um if you like if you're vegan or something and you don't use any animal fibers or protein fibers then this fiber is just beautiful to use it's almost like silk uh, it's very soft and silky and very fine it's just a beautiful fiber so you know i think you should try it but as you can see they're easy to dye using the cotton cellulose dyes and um, come up beautiful. So have a go at making them yourself, dyeing some yourself. Feel free to mix your colours and dye them the way you want to dye them. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to subscribe and like and leave me some comments about what you'd like to see dyed. Um, I'll see you next time.